Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to this reading. This coffee cup reading is for Cancerians and it's for April onwards 2024. I hope you will enjoy this reading. I hope it helps you understand where you're at, what's coming, what are important factors for you to know, uh, messages from your guardian angels and the universe, everything you need to know. Your cup is just incredible. It's just magnificent, my dear viewers. I haven't seen a cup this pretty, uh, this, this much, so much information. So many hidden factors, so many, so much to talk about. Let me begin by welcoming each and every one of you here. I hope you'll enjoy this reading, my dear viewers. For those of you who are new to the channel, if you enjoy this coffee cup reading, please support me by subscribing to the channel and so that you're aware when I upload many different videos that I do uh, for everyone. I also want to let you know that um, prior to the coffee cup, I always meditate and get in connection to you. the guiding angels of everyone that has cancer in them and they watch this, vid this video, this coffee cup. And I'm given information which I write down on a piece of paper and I deliver to you right at the end of this reading. So stay tuned for that and let me begin. I'll begin by, actually I'll begin by placing this a bit closer yeah, to the light. Okay, first thing I'm seeing here, it's like as though, as though you know something, as though your higher self is trying to tell you something, as though there is something that you keep closing your mind to but it keeps coming every now and then this is your instinct this is your higher self whatever you call it it's your soul it's your intuition it's trying to tell you that you know um to be a little bit more patient just a little bit more you are at a, at a stage where you're quite confused you don't know what's going to happen you really don't know where you stand what's happening what's coming next you're, you're sort of like in limbo and the reason for that is you keep feeling as though as though you're going to lose something or lose someone, loss. You're afraid of loss. You know, it looks to me, quite honestly, I see someone very protective. This person goes to extremes to protect your feelings instead of telling you the truth. They don't want to tell you the truth. The truth is very painful. The truth might be something you won't be able to accept. So they try to protect you. And this person is a very kind-hearted person, very good-hearted person, someone who doesn't like to lie, someone that doesn't like to cheat, someone that doesn't like to betray others. So what they do, they are in limbo too because they're trying to protect your feelings by not telling you the truth of how they feel, where they're at. And at times they, may, they might be tempted to betray. But somebody might betray the other person. That's what I feel. There are flaws in this relationship or this situation. If it's a partnership, the flaws are being overlooked because of all the positive, the positive aspects that are there that are worth keeping. So it's it's the most like difficult situation you can be in. This person can be honest and say, look, I want to do this. I'm thinking this. I'm feeling that. They want to keep you at all costs, not to lose you. Because they are, they have got contentment in this situation. They're happy with you. They don't see any need to change. But yet, and yet, there is a situation where they may need to do some things outside the boundaries, you know. And that could be, like, if it's discovered, it'll be a betrayal. If they open their heart to you and tell you, we want a little bit of freedom, we want to be able to do this and do that, you won't be able to accept it. So they just keep quiet and move forward. It's that kind of a scenario. Now, this doesn't have to apply to everybody. Not everybody can handle this kind of truth, but I had no choice because that's so clear. And the reason I'm saying that, this is connected to another situation because somebody is discovering something and they're regretting. This person is regretting lying. It's not a person who cheats. It's a person that's very honest. They don't like cheating. They don't like betraying. They don't like to be... You know, they might have, they might cross the line, um, but they had no choice because they couldn't be honest. 
because honesty and truth wouldn't be accepted. So maybe they had no choice. So anyhow, this is what's going to happen. This is what it seems like to me. And then somebody like, you know, being upset, of course, and, you know, not being available anymore, being sad. It's, it's a very, very um, complicated situation. When secrets are revealed, there are always problems. I, I see also some something like unknown or hidden that's coming out. This could be in regard to that. It could be in regard to money being spent somewhere. Um, there's obstacles. There's disappointment. There's setbacks. It seems to me like some of you have been trying their best to try to accomplish something exhausted in fact from trying to accomplish this particular situation and it looks to me like it's going to be impossible almost impossible to achieve it that's what i'm seeing and i'm sorry for being negative but it's not being negative it's just being truthful it's just saying it as i see it it seems like impossible to achieve this particular thing that you, you want because This, this situation is simply not meant to be kind of a situation. Now, many of you will get very upset with this. Not everybody can say this. Not everybody has the courage to say this. I have no choice but say it the way it is because you are going to realize what I'm talking about. It looks to me like so much effort is being wasted. Maybe in your eyes and your way of thinking isn't wasted because you're doing your best. So much determination, so much effort will not make this situation change. And this is what you need to come to terms with. This is what your instinct, your higher self is trying to tell you and you're trying to shut it down. Um, you may have to settle for your second choice, but this choice, this situation you're in now, that you're in battle for, isn't going to work. It can only bring you disappointment and setbacks. And you have to be very careful so that you don't become angry and aggressive and and lash out with words that could be your expression could become very um, upsetting and you have to set healthy boundaries and, and healthy boundaries are being set also so this is like a chain of events that I'm seeing how it started and where it's leading and ultimately at the end of the day whether I like it or not I've got to tell you the truth you're reaching it's getting out of your hands you're losing control and it's something that you will be emotionally withdrawn, upset, angry, but ultimately, ultimately, you'll have no choice but to leave the situation. This disappointment and dissatisfaction is all over the, from the beginning all the way in this cup, at the beginning of it. Let's see things, maybe they will change. But you're tired, tired of the situation over and over, feeling maybe rejected, feeling unwanted, and yet, this person really wants you, that this person really, if it's a person or situation or company or job, they want you, but then you feel, you're feeling something and that's something that you're feeling is 100% right, but you keep putting it aside. You're leaving this current situation. You're moving away. You don't want any part of it anymore. You come to realization. You get to see the truth. Yes, the time has come now. That's what I'm seeing. This is the time. You are completing. After putting a lot of effort in something, completing the situation and leaving it behind because there's no fulfillment. You need to release yourself from this. You have to focus on your needs. You need to focus on moving on to the next choice, the next level. And the next level is going to be the right one for you. There's a lot of harvest. You need to focus on what on being realistic from your choices from from day one there were a lot of signs i see two owls here this shows to me that there were a lot of signs showing you and, and your higher self your gut feeling keeps telling you but maybe you were overwhelmed with so much so much emotional connection attachment feelings that you could not control now you will see through the facade. It's going to be your wisdom, your higher self won't stop. It's going to make you aware. You are going to go through awakening, awareness, and observing. Secrets are lifted. 
the blindfold is lifted. You're seeing things. You're getting to know what's going on. And you want to explore the unknown. You won't even let it go. You want to explore and go deep. And I feel that's the only thing that's going to set you free, knowing this truth, finally finding out the truth. I see the letter A here, very strong. I see the letter, also the letter S here, very strong. I see the letter, the letters I'm seeing here. Number eight, I'm seeing also eight here, very strong. Connected to the Chinese year of the gold, connected to somebody who has Leo in them, who has uh, Virgo in them, August itself, August. Trust, have faith when I tell you this, just like if you know what I'm talking about, if you're aware of this, there is a special divine plan for you, a very special divine plan set for you. You are going to be healed from this you are going to go beyond this you are going to be in an amazing position i see life's changing but you have to take care of one thing your health your health needs your attention you need not to lose your health you need to pay attention to your health setting yourself freedom and setting boundaries will help you uh, take care of and spend a little bit of time on your health. You will heal. Now, this health could be affecting your emotions. Maybe this detachment is going to be severe on you. It might be too much, but I feel like your health is important. I feel like you, in regard to, to stability, you will find stability. I feel like it's just going to take some time. I see that, not feel it only. I see, I should be saying I see this because I'm seeing it. I feel it's just something that sort of starts and you can't control it when you're um, an oracle and doing this work so anyhow I don't want to waste your time with this you need to remain faithful to who you are and not to forget yourself in the process not to lose yourself in the process of detachment from the situation I feel like oh, I, I also see that you have to prevent causing problems or being overly demanding of others or of your even even of yourself so you've got to be very careful not others and not yourself overly demanding won't get you anywhere just you need to go softly you need to be gentle and slowly until the divine opens your pathway a little bit of patience there will be temptation i'm not saying there won't be this situation is not easy this person that you're connected with or this the situation that you're connected, no matter what it is, it does overwhelm you. It gives you a sense of healing, a sense of loving, a sense of affection, a sense of happiness, a sense of money, security, stability. Different cancerians will go through this situation um, in regard to this situation in a different way. Um, there is a situation that's very controlling of you. Okay, so if it's not a relationship, it's something else that's overwhelmed you. It's controlling you. To the point where you feel this kind of happiness. Even though it's unhealthy. It's an unhealthy situation. But you feel this kind of dopamine. Maybe it gives you oxytocin. Some sort of a hormone that's giving you happiness. Um, endorphins. You know. Um, I just feel like you do need to slowly detach from this. Somebody may need your help. Maybe to counsel them. To heal. Maybe you are yourself considering seeing a counselor to heal, seeing someone to talk to to heal. Be mindful of what is being said, the advice. Be mindful of what is, whether if you're teaching them, if you're counseling someone, if somebody's counseling you, be aware of what's being said. Take it into consideration. Think about it deeply. At the end of the day, you've got to come to terms with surrendering and letting go. Sometimes you've got to let go of what you've been used to and it's so comfortable and it's everything you wanted. But and yet you've got to let go, but it's not easy. But you need to let go. That's what I'm seeing. And I'm breathing heavily because I feel like this is something very, very deep and your heart is all entwined in, in this matter, in this situation, in this person, if it's a person. And I see like it's going to be very hard to let go. Because of this person, you started seeing what is really important in life. You know, things that you never believed in, things you didn't even want to do one day. You started seeing how important they are. 
because of this person, um, feelings inside you are awakened. Feelings you never thought you would feel or explore. So I'm getting chills as I'm talking. This is really affecting me on a high level. And yet there isn't a shred of cancer within me. Uh, but it is affecting me because of you. Because of you, my dear cancer. You're going to be answering the call. There's a call waiting. The time is now. I saw that twice. Some sort of a calling. And it's that calling that will remove you and bring on a lot of changes to take you to the next level. So you need energetic support. You're getting it. Your guiding angels are giving you the universe. They're all around you. You're not alone. You are going to be given a lot of support. Use the frequency of affection, of love that's around you, compassion, to uplift yourself. Because you need help and you are going to get help. And it's good that you're reaching out, which is wonderful. Some of you might not be reaching out, but I feel like reaching out is going to help big time. I'm seeing number five here, those of you born on the fifth of the month, those of you who are born in the Chinese year of the dragon, five, it's this year all this is happening. Those of you who are born in the Chinese year of the dragon, those of you who are born in the Chinese year of the horse, Chinese year of the cat, rabbit, Chinese year of the tiger. Um, Chinese year of the goats, spiritual, a spiritual career, a spiritual path has to come to an end. Something you've been doing or sacrificing, going without healing. Uh, what's the word? Like, you know, when you suck up something, you don't want to do what you're doing it all the time. That's constantly uh, sucking up and going ahead and being angry and s um, suppressing and continuing and smiling when you're hurting and suffering, but continuing on sucking it up. It's over. It's over. This pain is over. You are going to be set free. You are going to be transcended to better levels of life. You are getting prepared to this for this beautiful section here, this beautiful tree of life, this new path that opens up. This new creation that you've got to get into. You are destined for this creation. Um, when I say creation, there's opportunities, there's possibilities. There's light. There's starting something amazing. There is a happy ending. This is an ending, very ha a happy ending. I know you might not believe it now. You might think, no way this will end happily, but it's ending, happy, happy ending. This is something that was destined that had a time frame, and now is the time. So a great change. It takes you away from this and takes you to the next level. The next level is a new beginning, a one, one that's very, very prosperous. One that's going to be, um, it's going to give you personal power. Power to the point where you can tap into your, into your creativity, let's say, tap into your enthusiasm, your motivation, you'll be motivated. Something about this new person that's entering your life. There's someone new, someone different than usual what you're used to something different about them some of you are going to be looking at this person believe it or not as a it's bizarre um maybe you're looking at this person in a different way of looking like maybe okay this is going to sound a bit strange but i'm going to try to put it it's an, say it's an example i'll just call it an example i'm not very good in example giving but i will do my best it's like as though you used to look at people for their looks for their achievements and now you're looking in a different way maybe you're looking to start a family with someone so you're looking at someone to see if they are Someone that you want to start a family with, you want to build a home with, you want to start a life, a family life with, that that kind of, a, just an example. Now, this could be also a job, like before you used to look for a job that was prestigious and, and wonderful and you had your own office and you had this and that, and now you're looking for something that is more practical, more um, um, more of your own 
where you can expand on or you can work for yourself or, you know, a product that you can promote or, you know, it could be something like that. These are, like I said, I'm not good in examples, but I have to give you an example. Something very wonderful, lucrative and more practicality rather than emotional love, crazy. Like this person, you're not going to be crazy about this person. Maybe they will be crazy about you. You'll be looking at them in a different way, a <laughs> different look. I know some of you might think this is crazy, but I'm seeing uh, someone with a very romantic, calm nature and your decisions are not like you're not head over heels with this person because you just left something that was very deep and it's like you're looking at someone idealistic, maybe in a practical way to continue your mission and your quest in life, whether, whether, whether it is to have a family or to, to travel with or to... Um, a proposition of doing something to get together you want someone considerate and someone generous and someone that you can trust and they are crazy about you and this person will be crazy about you so i don't know whether that helps or not to make you understand what i'm seeing the transition from what you had and where you're going is really different it's changing i see family i keep seeing family it's like as though many of you are thinking of having your own family or starting a family i see the beginning of great love so maybe at the beginning there won't be love there won't be that connection because you're still attached or not detached 100 percent. but ultimately or maybe you're comparing from this person to that person or from this job to that job you're comparing but ultimately you'll settle and you'll understand that your heart, your instincts, they're all following and they're saying, yes, this is the way. It's okay. Let your guard down. It's okay. It's all right. Open your heart. Trust this person. This person is trustworthy. Trust seems to be a big situation. Maybe there was mistrust in the other situation. It's like you're finding your soulmate. It's the one that you can grow old with, someone that you can put your life in their hands and you can trust. That's how big it is, how deep this is. So I do feel like you are leading the way and very happy and I feel like you you are going to overcome a lot of obstacles and I see a very loving relationship that is very nurturing there's a lot of nurturing in this one in this relationship and I do see that also a very special surprise is coming out of this as though your dreams are going to be granted as though you're assuming control of a situation as though you are um feeling protected as though you are very powerful over this person that, to the point where you might be feeling protective over them or they are protective over you there is that and there is a surprise that gives you power power where you are in control of something you could be in control of a business their business it's something like that but you're celebrating there is so much happiness so much celebration here you're celebrating what you have achieved where you have reached you're celebrating the continual of your journey and how you overcome everything, how you uh, surpassed all that pain and, and moved to the next level. So this is really tremendous. This is incredible. When there is physical touch between you and this person, there's a tender kind of... Um, tender kind of touching that's going to mean a lot to you something's happening you are slowly becoming very much in romance with this person i feel like chinese year of the rabbit here chinese year of the horse again i see horse uh, i see the ox buffalo i see the dragon i see the monkey i see the goat and i see the rat it's strong now i'm seeing also that you're embracing your emotions and you're finally you know what's amazing about the coffee cup now that i'm I just woke up to this. Now, this could be like I, I nominated April, right? I, as a human being, nominated April. But, of course, the universe and God would like to show further. This might be going all the way into August, September. So this voyage of the heart, it's a long voyage. But in a cup, it looks like, you know, I'm going through like this happened and now you're moving on. And But this could take you till September. So the voyage of the heart the love that flows within you and to you. It's transforming from one person to another. There's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of um, 
you really need to give your this relationship a chance if it's a relationship whatever it is somebody really wants you and there's connection there's commitment i'm seeing commitment i'm seeing long-term commitment now now it's also changing now it's showing to that there is a connection between two people that are or, or could be a group of people long-term investment now would change to this so maybe this is for some kind of series and others are joining with someone or you are committing a financial commitment to start something of your own your own business some of you could be working in partnership together with someone but it is that fulfilling dream you've always wanted long term to own something of your own because as i see two also two rings uniting and two hands shaking so um this is really big you you are committing to something you're committing to something new and it's going to be spectacular now this person could be fire energy and i'm seeing leo there's four lines here leo being the strongest one two three four four lines leo very strong leo now there is aries also i see the ram but there's only one uh leo here being the strongest now what about sagittarius oh no there's no sag that's strange sagittarius should be part of this but it isn't because usually fire energies are sagittarius leo uh, and aries but i'm not seeing i'm seeing oh sorry there it is the archer there's two archers uh, next to each other but there was three rams one two three rams and four leo so look at the that the ranking leo being the highest in this person now i'm also seeing that air energies are also here now air energies let me just have a look deeper here air energy i see libra one two three four libras libra very strong here libra wow so this per person could be a leo libra this person could be um aries libra libra is very strong now you might also be connected to someone that might have a little bit of aquarius in them or you might be conversing dealing with someone that has aquarius or a little bit of gemini one gemini two aquarius you might be consumed and dealing with in the month of april with someone that has aquarius and gemini but the majority that i saw for cancer was those and i'm seeing virgo i'm seeing virgo here strong virgo also earth energy virgo i'm seeing one taurus but virgo the most and one capricorn but three virgo so virgo being the strongest you're also consumed with another water energy, which is Scorpio here. Scorpio, very strong Scorpio. There's no Cancer, there's no Crab, there's no Pisces. But there is water energy, but Scorpio is only one here shown. Chinese here of the Tiger here, very strong, my dear um, Cancer. Those of you who are dealing with Tiger, who have got Tiger, uh, the year of the Tiger, or dealing with someone that is born in the Chinese year of the Tiger. Chinese year of the Buffalo, Ox Buffalo. Chinese year of the Cat Rabbit. Chinese year of the snake, the monkey, the rat, the horse, and the rooster. And there's also a pig here, Chinese year of the pig. I see a lot of happiness coming in your life. I see you reaching to a level of peace, a lot of peace. I see an amazing, gorgeous dove hovering all over you. This shows that finally you will have the peace that you deserve. A special love relationship, commitments are made and kept a very joyful happy happy ending happiness happy ending meaning not what i said before this is about a new happy happiness where there's a lot of um you know there may be situations where some of you could be forgiving and reconciling with someone from the, the past that could be a possibility someone that you had great friendship with I also feel like some of you could be putting your money together and buying your business together and some of you putting your money together and buying a house together there's a house with a garden but the most important factor here is the 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 dove the dove one two three doves all about peace all about absolute peace now my dear viewers i'm going to go through and read the important factors here that have come starting with clarity finally you will see things clearly clarity to the highest level something that is so simple it says it's simple justice is going to be there something's going to be fair and just um working well for you it's simple meaning perhaps you will get help that because it's going to be simple you might think it's hard and clarity gives you the power clarity gives you the power and it simplifies situations justice will also be there to prevail to support you in any matter where justice is needed you are a hard worker working hard it says or you could be meeting someone who's um, a hard worker strong hands someone with strong hands 
Something is really true, and you need to know that there is a truth. And I'm, I was given the, the vision of world map, and that is about many things. First, it's about traveling. Some of you could be working internationally online, working online, but working in sort of um, internationally. World map is also travel. World map is a new cycle of life that gives you elevation. Coins. I was given coins, the word coins, and a lot of money. Money is coming in. There is an opportunist, an opportunist. So you'll, you'll know what that means when it comes to it, when you find um, it's not an opportunity. It's someone who's an opportunist. That means they take advantage of an opportunity. You might be dealing with someone like that. Something is not exactly as it seems. Someone is still there saying, I'm still here. There is loss. You will ex experience a little bit of loss. Now let's go through the names. Now the loss could be that relationship that I was talking about that I said it was so painful. Uh, detaching from it, that could have been the loss. Uh, I'm going to go through now the initials. I've got L for love, L for lover, F for France, F for frog, A for Antarctica, A for Alaska, Z, Z, Z for zoo, for Zulu, V for victory, um, Venezuela, C for Canada, Ceiling, Charlie, J for Jamaica, Jerusalem, um, T for tiger, uh, tomato, H for honey, horse, P for pony, Poland, M for money, monkey. Um, bear with me, my dear viewers. Let's see, what is this letter here? Oh, Y for yellow, Yellowstone, and N for never and no. Now, I was given two numbers, number five, which was also in, in your reading here, five. I saw five strongly. Five are... Uh, is to do with the Chinese year of the dragon. It is also to do with changes, a lot of changes that are coming in your life that you will ex experience from the time you see this cup up to May. It is also about May itself. It is about people born in the on the 5th of the month to pay attention to this big time. It is for those of you who are dealing with people born in May, which is Taurus and Gemini. Very interesting. A lot of changes, especially if you're Taurus, Gemini yourself. Uh, like you might have Taurus or Gemini, or you might be dealing with someone that has Taurus and Gemini. So a lot of changes. Now, but the changes overall are for all Cancerians. Now, number four, then I've got four, which is April. It is connected to the Chinese year of the cat or rabbit. Uh, it's about success, quick success coming to you. From the time you see this cup up to April, a lot of success is coming. Number four is also connected to April, which is Aries and um, Taurus connected to the Chinese year of the rabbit. And from this up to April, magnificent success coming your way, abundance like they had here, coins and money coming. Now we have got April. You're going to be making a lot of money. Something big is happening. And that is the end of your reading, my dear Ken. So I hope you enjoyed it. Do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. I look forward to reading for you um, again and again. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and support me. It doesn't cost anything. And seeing the videos till the end that supports me big time without stopping them if you would do that in support of me i w wish you a lot of happiness abundance of healing in the process while you are healing and moving to the next level and a lot of love and light namaste